welcome to the sixth lecture of uh, unit 3 current mirrors so far we discussed mosfet based current mirror as well as bjt and specifically in bjt we discussed two var uh, variants simple current mirror as well as current mirror with base current compensation so in the initial discussion we uh, discussed that for a cu current mirror there are two uh, parameters which are very important one is current transfer ratio uh, or the dependency uh, of current transfer ratio on beta so we uh, understood that it should be less dependent on beta and second thing is output resistance output resistance should be high for a uh, current mirror or a current source if you look if you compare these two circuits both circuits have uh, output resistance as same r naught uh, if you, this is the output terminal so at this terminal if i look uh, to the collector what we are seeing here is the resistance r naught resistor of the uh, transistor both here as well as in this circuit and even we have seen the current transfer ratio current transfer ratio is in this case it is 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta it is dependent on beta but here uh, it is approximately 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta square so it is less dependent on beta <clears throat> so uh, when we came to second circuit, uh, here uh, the beta dependency uh, is less, but still the output resistance is same only. So we need uh, we need to go for some other uh, circuit where uh, it will give high output resistance as well as a less dependency on beta. So uh, in order to incorporate these two features, uh, we are moving to another uh, type of current mirror. That current mirror was proposed by uh, a person known as George Wilson who was an engineer in uh, a company known as Tektronics. So he uh, modified the basic current mirror uh, uh, in order to reduce the dependency on beta as well as to improve the output resistance. So that current mirror is known as Wilson current mirror. known as Wilson current mirror. So there is a small modification in the uh, architecture. There is the same current source here which is connected to the transistor. But here uh, this connection is on the other side. this is a this is the circuit where this is the reference current and this is the output point this is transistor q1 q2 and q3 <clears throat> the modification is we added one more transistor which is on the top of uh, this transistor q1 and the basic current mirror is actually uh, altered in this way. At the output side, we are using this diode connected structure. <clears throat> now, uh, the same analysis we'll do as we did uh, in the previous case. We'll try to uh, analyze the different currents here. So, uh, as the previous case, this is the output current. Uh, yeah, and I'll start here. So, this is the collector current IC and since it is diode connected with the same drop even this should be ic uh, if this is ic this uh, base current should be ic by beta and this should be ic by beta if these two are ic by beta the current here should be 2 ic by beta now if this is 2 ic by beta and this is ic means the emitter current here should be 2 ic by beta plus IC that should be the emitter current if that is the emitter current then uh, the base current should be uh, I'll take IC common so 2 by beta plus 1 into IC I'll write in this way 
I'll write this as IC I'll take common uh, what I have is 1 plus yeah this in 1 plus 2 by beta divided by beta plus 1 that is a base current now your reference uh, now I can write the reference current here so <clears throat> now the reference current is I ref is equal to IC plus IC into 1 plus 2 by beta divided by beta plus 1 that is I ref now I naught is uh, actually I naught is equal to if I know the base current I naught will be beta times of that so that is equal to uh, beta IC into 1 plus 2 by beta divided by beta plus 1 <coughs> that is your I naught uh, now in order to get the current transfer ratio what we can do here is I can uh, write I naught by I ref which is equal to mm, yeah I'll write I C into 1 plus 2 by beta into beta by beta plus 1 yeah that is your I naught divided by I C is I can take I C sorry I ref is I C common so I can write it as 1 plus uh, 1 plus 2 by beta and to that I should write beta plus 1 in the denominator right now uh, if we simplify this I will get I naught by I ref yeah, so uh, we can simplify this so I see and I see I can cancel here now uh, beta plus 1 yeah so I'll cancel and write down so numerator what I have is 1 plus 2 by beta which is same as beta plus 2 by beta into beta by beta plus 1 that is in the numerator denominator what I have is beta plus 1 plus beta plus 2 by beta into beta plus 1 so if you uh, simplify you will get that and now your beta and beta cancel beta plus 1 and beta plus 1 cancel uh, that's a small mistake here I will just write on once again so in the uh, numerator what is left out is beta plus 2 by beta into beta by beta plus 1 that's all in denominator what I have is beta plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 by beta the whole divided by beta plus 1 so now when I cancel beta beta cancel this beta plus 1 and this is cancel so whatever is left out is beta plus 2 divided by uh, beta plus 2 plus 2 by beta <coughs> that is left out so uh, what I can do from here is I will take beta plus 2 from numerator and denominator look what I will get is 1 plus 2 by beta into beta plus 2 this one so again this beta plus 2 and beta 2 will get cancelled so it is 1 by 1 plus uh, 2 by beta square plus 2 beta or I can approximate this as 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta square so that is the current transfer ratio which is same as the previous one so even with the bipolar mirror with base current compensation our current transfer ratio was same and from here we can say uh, uh, by looking at the current transfer ratio I can definitely say here that I naught by I ref is 
less dependent on beta I not by i of i is less dependent on beta since the ratio is equal to 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta square so this is fine now uh, we are interested in uh, calculating the output resistance of this also uh, that we'll do in next lecture so compare all these three circuits and see how the output uh, basically the current transfer ratio is derived for each case so this is the final answer thank you